What are some of the key dates you're watching out for now? Well, I think the really big ones, of course, Evergrande. So the scenery journey bonds are seeing the coupon grace period coming to an end uh, next week. And then even before then, a lot of focus on Kaiser. So it has this exchange in the works, a $400 million note. We're expecting that to come deadline to fall at the end of Thursday. So we may know Friday. Um, but there's a lot at stake here. And a Kaiser default or any kind of Kaiser restructuring would be really quite a shake up. But, you know, like Evergrande, this is a sort of giant of the dollar bond market. Um, and the deal itself looks rather tough to get across the line. If you see the kinds of sweeteners that have been offered in previous deals during this sort of debt crisis, so Modern Land, which offered a partial repayment, they couldn't get it through. Yango, which had a personal guarantee and after several sort of extensions finally managed to get it across the line. The Kaiser deal doesn't necessarily look that attractive and it has a 95% minimum acceptance from holders. Uh, Hui Kai Yang uh, selling uh, a stake for the first time. How much time does this buy them? What does this mean for investors? Well, certainly it's positive, of course. You know, after we saw that NEV share sale and we've seen the Hang Ten sale, seeing the sort of amounts of cash sort of being raised, certainly this is going to be able to stave off most of those coupon payments. I think the assumption generally is that they are going to be able to make, for example, that scenery journey uh, coupon by the end of the grace period. Um, of course, the sort of bigger placement that emerged was 2.8 billion. Uh, last Friday and what we know now is about 1.2 billion represented by Hui so still some uncertainty over where the remainder of that might be from and mm -hmm. going to.